Hey there, it's Jaya and Ian, and we are doing a 52-week YouTube Sex Life Makeover Challenge. You are joining us. We've been talking about seven barriers to passion and pleasure, and we are on barrier number six. Mm. He's we're breaking, we're breaking me. through the barriers, so now I'm like, mm, <laughs> what's on the other side? Number six is poor practices. And I would add poor practices ties into prioritization, which ties into last week's conversation about we're all so busy and stressed and overwhelmed and, and anxiety because we're not creating practices around our sex lives. We all have yoga we practice or a lot of unconscious practices that we do every day. But what about making a conscious practice around your sex life? When you don't have practices, nothing's prioritized, things go into default mode. I like sex life by design versus sex life by default. Now, Ian and I's default, when we're not practicing, tell, tell them about it. It's not The good. default not is no sex. I mean, we really had a period, especially after our son was born, of like no sex. It, we'd go a couple months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not good. Or like it was like kind of like once a month, but it wasn't, you know, it was and stressed. In, <laughs> until, until we took the active choice of putting in an afternoon date day, mm -hmm. and that was a time to connect and share some we called intimate it time. Intimacy, intimacy time, time at the time. Yeah. And now I like to call them sex labs or sex right. life challenges, practices. And so this was really the thing that turned things around for Ian and I and helped us create passion and hot sex in our relationship was doing these. And the very first one I did all by myself, you may have watched that if you've been on YouTube, is my 101 days of self-pleasure. So that was my first challenge. I challenged myself to 101 days of solo pleasure because this man wasn't having me. Where was I? <laughs> <laughs> so then the first one we did together was 90 days of oral sex, which I wrote about in my book, Blow Each Other Away, where we did 90 days of oral. And Ian had a lot of resistance going into that practice. But I'll tell you what the resistance was too. It was to how important it was. I knew how important it was going to be for her to win and make it happen. So I wanted to set the game up to be able to win. And we'll go into this in detail in a few weeks when we get into sex life challenges, but the, it's important to set up when you're just getting out of the shell, make goals that you can win at. Mm -hmm. Make it a game that's fun and you can win at. Yeah, easy small wins. So our easy small win was all we had to do was five minutes of oral sex every day, and that counted, five minutes of oral sex, and oral sex equaled any kind of mouth on a body part. So we could kiss for five kiss minutes, him. we could suck on something for five minutes, <laughs> we could do whatever <laughs> for five minutes, and that would make it a win. So we would go high five, we won our sex life challenge, and we usually kept going. We usually did 30 minutes, sometimes even an hour, of oral sex play during that challenge. That was just a huge shift and a turnaround. From there, we moved into 40-40, 40 days of submission, dominance, 40 days of yeah. dominance, which I wrote about in my book, Cuff Tight Satisfied. And now we've been doing one that is It's a four, four, day, days. four days of of sex and then we define what sex means so that we know the rules and so what, we have what's a sexual win. contact four days out of every week mm -hmm. four to five minimum minimum is four and you know and it's interesting you know as we go along we just went through a bout of strep throat so how do we stay connected like Ian came to me last night and said hey this is a practice and we got to practice even though we've got strep throat, even though we got this stuff going on, we got to make it a practice. And I so appreciated his persistence of like pushing through all my resistance that was coming up. Gentlemen, be prepared for resistance. Be the man. Step into it and be consistent with delivering. Because sometimes your woman needs to know that she can trust you, especially if there's been years of disconnection and disharmony. And she's got a built up, you know, women can keep some things in their minds for a long time. Yeah, you so, guys can too. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Everybody can. Yeah. All right, good. So create some practices. One action step to take away from this is what's a practice that you can put in your life? Write down in the comments a practice you're going to implement. Maybe that's self-pleasure every day. Maybe that's learning about something. But what's an action that you can actually take to make your sex life better? We've been giving you all kinds of stuff throughout this challenge. Pick something from there and put something into practice. Let us know about it and how we can support you in the comments below. Like us, Come subscribe. Check us, check us out at MissJaya.com and uh, keep watching because this is a 52 week challenge. It's designed to help you have awesome breakthrough for your life. And next week we're gonna do our seventh barrier and wrap up this seven barriers segment of our 52 weeks. All right, until next time, fill, fill your, your life, life with, with pleasure. pleasure.